Cloud Gaming Market Size, Share and Trends Analysis Report by Type, by Device, by Gamer Type, by Region, and Segment Forecast. What? Really? How come you never see these? Is it a bad article? Is Google, is Yahoo News? A cloud Gaming Market, okay. Uh, New York, July 7, 2020. Oh, that's today, that's what, or yesterday. The global cloud gaming market size is estimated to reach uh, U.S. 20, let's say 21 billion by 2030. Registering a, so by 2030, it's going to be 20.94 billion. But they uh, estimate the entire gaming market to be 300 billion. So it's going to be a long, long ride uh, for cloud gaming to be, uh, uh, to be the head head honcho <laughs> uh registered a i don't know what that is a 45.8 percent from 2022 to 2030 uh what is that Cag anybody know what that is Let's search it real quick compound annual growth rate okay i knew it was a growth market but i don't know what it meant as cloud storage has gained a more secure position over on-site storage, this has affected the gaming industry. Through though, through cloud gaming services, gamers can access high-quality interactive games remotely without bearing the additional cost of expensive computer systems. The growing number of gamers globally has directed affected the market. Market growth is likely to be aided by increased investments in 5G technology and affordable access to various cloud-based games. Furthermore, market participants have col uh, collaborated with telecom firms to supply cloud gaming services worldwide like AT&T. Uh, AAA games are readily available on the cloud gaming platforms and companies are expanding gaming portfolios to have a competitive advantage. For instance, in December 2021, LG Electronics worked with Google Stadia to bring the latest cloud gaming service to LG Smart TVs operating web OS 5.0 and 6.0. Game studios embrace industry-wide revolution, pushing the limits of technology and producing constantly updated gaming experiences that scale to millions of players. For instance, AWS, which is the Amazon um, web thing, has in in integrated purpose-built game creation capabilities, such as AWS Solutions, AWS Services, and AWS Partners, with six solutions areas to assist developers in developing, testing, and growing their games. Uh, which is also, I think that's what the whole state is, right? If we, when you look, I just recently saw the original March 2019 um, Stadia Games thing video. <laughs> I forget the name. Of it. Uh, and you, they, the developers have the option to run their game on the Stadia servers, on their own servers, or on a device in their office. Uh, and I think Squid said that uh, that some of the dev kits are pretty pretty big. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a lot of companies, especially if they have cloud services like Microsoft and uh, and Amazon, uh, are, they must be trying to get into that technology or trying to you know make it specific to gaming. COVID nineteen has proved advantageous for the market as people around the globe began adhering to pandemic norms and restrictions. There was a need for entertainment. While cloud gaming services were available before the pandemic, they gained popularity and many companies entered the cloud gaming industry. For instance, in October 2020, the Facebook company now known as Meta launched cloud gaming services, particularly for mobile users. There we go. Everybody's getting in the game, baby. Cloud gaming market report highlights. Asia Pacific region accounted for the largest market share of more than 40% of the global market, owning owing to the rise in trends towards smartphone gaming that's where stadia needs to go next so i know today uh in cloudy thoughts they were trying to guess which region was next people were i i, I was pretty sure it was going to be central america south america but then uh purple haze had a different idea she's thinking middle middle east which i've learned recently to go with what uh she's saying but asia pacific which would include me would be awesome be nice the philippines Korea, i mean just imagine uh how many uh, thailand somebody popped in from thailand earlier uh earlier on the stream and said they were they were they wanted to stadia in thailand or something like that the file streaming industry is expecting to increase at a roughly 46 percent 
uh, over the forecast years. File streaming enables users to play games only after a partial download and allows game developers to cut the expense of creating media and sending out fixes to players consequently, 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 I can't say that word. The file streaming segment is witnessing growth quickly. In terms of gamer type, the casual gamer segment is predicted to grow at a at the fastest uh, rate of more than 45% during the forecast period. The, le la, the relevancy of smartphones and devices may be credited to the segment's growth. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, it's not a huge, not, not a super long article. So I, yeah, I, I guess the takeaways from this article is uh, Asia Pacific region needs to be next for Stadia, or at least it needs to be very, very near the future, uh, especially because it should include Japan and Korea, um, which are huge tech uh, hubs. And then if it includes, you know, like I was saying earlier, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, you know what I mean? Um, you know, Taiwan is also another big, big uh, tech hub. But if it includes those other ones, uh, then the is always, it'll be like the same as in Mexico, where a lot of people can't afford consoles. So uh, mobile gaming is probably king over there. 